MGT. What it do? It's your boy Moody Star, and I'm back again with another video. If you new, you already know what to do, man. Become a subscriber, like the video, and join MGT. This is a channel where I like to highlight current events and talk about my spiritual walk here in this beautiful, fucked up, sideways ass matrix. Now, first of all, I gotta say a special shout out to anybody that's holding on to your energy, going within and being high vibrational. Here at MGT, this is what we do. We work on ourselves every single day. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about pretty much how like if you don't value your own energy dog you're gonna get fucking played here in this matrix and it's very fucking important bro once you get to a level of retaining your energy for a certain amount of time and you're experiencing the female attraction and all the hidden agendas that some of these women try to hide but you can actually see through their actions you'll i think you'll you'll make a better decision as to who you want to even hang around with bro because on a subtle on a subtle fucking scale i always say this shit but it'd be so fucking true bro if you know how to fucking read body language a motherfucker could tell you a lot without even saying much if you know how to read energy and how a few uh, how a person moves you could tell what type of person that that uh that person is without even having to go dive deep in and trying to see what's up with this chick or you feel me or this situation so with that being said y'all boys have to guard your fucking energy and understand these women are out here, bro. You feel me? And you got a lot of homies, too, that are out here on some different shit, I say. Wild shit, different shit, dog. Like, we are living in a different, interesting-ass time. You see what I'm saying? And a lot of people are, are trapped. A lot of people are walking around like zombies in their lower chakras, just doing the low vibrational shit, just surviving. See what I'm saying? You don't want to get caught up in that trap. It's easy to get into some shit, bro. Like, when you're very attractive, you have a lot of energy, you have a lot of potential, you have a lot of, like, um, upside to just you being around. Bro, people are going to want to attach themselves to you. If it's not happening yet, trust and believe it's going to fucking happen. When you are a light and in a dark place, people are going to fucking notice you. And when people notice you, every single time, bro, I'm talking about on a on live in effect, when they see you in person, bro they're literally feeding off of you off of your energy when you're away from them it's all about what the memory because i told you guys this when you retain your energy and you be around somebody and the power of your presence start to be around them and they're like damn the second that you take yourself away from that fucking person they're still gonna feel your fucking energy they're still gonna feel your fucking energy they're still gonna see like damn this man just because he was here he put this 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 place in a certain type of vibration everybody else is gonna follow suit whether you know it or not dog you be setting vibes dog when you be going out in the matrix or when you go out anywhere bro like you actually set the fucking vibe i don't care if it's somebody else's party or not people are always watching dog and people are always peeping most of the time people are looking with their with their first eye which is their third eye because we're naturally uh, guided by our, our natural uh, first eye, like I said, which is the pineal gland. So what happens is, dog, on 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 a on a scale where we can't even see, but we are like looking or feeling through our intuition, bro. People know when a real nigga is around. People know when somebody is really about that life. And I'm not talking about like ignorantly, but I'm just talking about on a spiritual level and your energy, bro. They can feel that shit and they know like, damn, there's something valuable hidden within this guy, hidden within this person. There's a gem somewhere inside you. People can feel that shit. And a motherfucker gonna try to attach themselves to you every single time. That's why it's also good to say no sometimes, dog. There's power in saying no. There's power in, and I think I just made, I recently just made a video about this topic, but I have to, I have to bring it back up because like, it's true. When you tell a female, if a female is offering you some pussy or offering you to give you some head, you know what it does to her mental when you tell her, nah, I'm good. It low key kind of could break her fucking heart, depending on who you're dealing with. You know what I'm saying? Because women are used to guys being controlled by their their lower nature. So guys, the guys are literally easy to fucking control. Cause they could be like, oh, they could put on some booty shorts, bro. And a guy would be like, damn, man, I'm fuck it, I'm a fuck. Because it really doesn't take much for a female um, to do anything to get a guy to get in the fucking mood but if you have power and control over yourself bro and you start to and, and the power of saying no the power of just you know what i'm saying you dealt with rejection a lot guys deal with rejection all the fucking time 
when you starting to give like dish out just like nah i'm good i'm straight nah i'm, I'm all right cool i know you want to hang out but maybe some other time i got a schedule i'm busy i have this to do once you really start to put yourself first bro it's gonna be a beautiful fucking thing tables will fucking turn women are actually gonna try harder you know they they won't even ask you they, they will try to position themselves and just make shit happen they just want you to be in their realm of reality the god life force energy dog that shit is infinite and you have access to infinite intelligence why do you think they want to be around you it's not it's not only just for the sex but literally live in effect in action your presence the power of your presence is literally feeding them bro you are literally giving people lives you are you you are you are literally giving people's life i would say you know what i'm saying and it's a it's a beautiful thing once you realize the power of your energy the power of your presence the power of you not being around the power of you saying no the power of you saying like you know what i'm gonna be a little stingy with my energy today i have to i have to like really hone in and really focus on what i got to do because at the end of the day dog what are you trying to do when we retain our energy what are we trying to do what's the main goal you feel me niggas wants to live pretty much people want to live in abundance people want to wake up every day um and enjoy life we don't have to we don't want to have to like stress over bills stress over anything in the fucking matrix all this shit is supposed to be fucking free but yet we are paying for everything you see what i'm saying but if you can put yourself in the right type of energy to be infinite to live in abundance and start to actually accumulate some of these things in the matrix bro it's gonna be a beautiful thing for real for real you'll be living it, it will literally be like you're living in a fantasy only you actually have control over what you do with your energy Sometimes it's not good to get blessed too fast, you know? Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. Because when you're young, and let's say you got blessed with like $3 billion, $3 billion, I wish. A nigga, hey, anybody who hit for $3 billion at the age of 21, dog, that motherfucker right there is a lucky motherfucker. Let me hold a banner too. Nah, but like, let's just say you get a, you get like a, a, a blessing quick. And you're not ready for the, this blessing. If you get a million dollars and you have all access to everything and women are literally hitting you up, they know what's up. They know you got the million dollars. They know you have access to everything, bro. Within probably within that same month, if you don't know how to control your sexual energy or just control your energy, period, bro, all that shit's going to get blown. You feel me? People who get blessed and still end up having a a more uh harder life than they did before you know just because you get the blessings that don't mean like oh okay trouble and all that shit does you know what i'm saying it, it goes away like nah bro you have to have an active mind and know that like okay the energy that i'm bringing like i can't just be doing anything you feel me i can't just be having anybody else around me like that that's not on my frequency you know what i'm saying why risk your freedom to be, to be around certain people or to have a certain situation and now a female could put a case on you you feel me i know somebody right now that's kind of going through some shit he's in a high level uh i would say he he's at a level in this organization where a lot of women notice him a lot of people notice him and you know a female tried to push up on him and you know she he kind of rejected her and now she's saying that xyz he did this and that to her you see what i'm saying so even putting your, like, it's good to just stay the fuck out the fucking way. <laughs> you feel me? Don't even put yourself in a situation where you could get fucked up, bro. And a lot of the times, women will put guys in that situation and women won't even try to fuck them for real. And still try to accuse you of some wild shit. Again, we are living in a crazy fucking time. And the higher you start to elevate, the more things you start to accumulate, the more you get up, up there in consciousness, dog that's when the more the negative energy is also going to see and recognize like damn you feel me let me see let me see if this nigga is for real you feel me let me see let me see if i could get him with this or get him with that you feel me so your, your head always have to be on a swivel dog whether like you're in the trenches the trenches now and even when you get them fucking blessings that's when you really really need to be on point that's why i say value your energy when you do retain your energy bro you attract everything the pheromones uh these women feel it they really do. So learn how to like be a little bit more stingy with your time. You know what I'm saying? Just kind of like, but make sure when you're doing, when you're more stingy with your time, you're actually doing something productive. You're not just, uh, 
100% like just selfish and you know what I'm saying? We all wanna be that type of guy, but just understand when you know how to kind of separate pleasure and separate um, responsibilities and, and duties, when you know how to separate these things and go about them responsibly, bro, you will literally like enjoy every last uh, one of your actions that you do, whether it's um, dealing with a relationship, dealing with work, or dealing with, you know, just your task every single day. I'm telling you, it'll make your life so much more easier, bro. Write some shit out, understand like, okay, this is what I want, this is what I'm about, this is the type of energy that I have, these, these are the type of women I'm about to attract, so I have to put myself in the right mind frame to, to be like, okay, if a female wants to chill with me, I ain't stupid. I know why she wants to chill with me. You feel me? It's not just because she wants to fuck, but she's also she's already feeding off my energy because I'm retaining it. Other than that, it's me, Boy Moody Star Man. Make sure you like, share, comment down below. I'm going to definitely see you guys on the next video. Drop a dollar on the cash app, and I'm going to definitely see you guys, man. Yo, just be aware. I always say this shit. It is what it is, man. Peace.